Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another Fear Street review. Today, I am so excited to be um, covering the new movie, The Black Phone, which, if you're not aware, it is currently streaming on Peacock. Um, it's also on VOD, so go out and check it out if you haven't already. If you would like to, um, go check that out before you come back and watch the rest of this. I completely understand. I'm going to try my best to stay out of the spoiler world, but, you know, I, you know, it's it's difficult sometimes, and sometimes things happen and they come out, and I'm sorry, but, you know, it happens. So if you feel like you need to go back and watch the movie and then come back for the review, I'll still be here, I'll still be fierce, and I'll still be talking about this movie. So uh, without further ado, The Black Phone, in the black phone, after being abducted by a child killer and locked in a soundproof basement, a 13-year-old boy starts receiving calls on a disconnected phone from the killer's previous victims. So, my thoughts. I really enjoy the movie. I think it's a really interesting concept. I love the idea of, one, I am a fan of true crime. Um, some of you may already know that, but uh, I do like the idea of someone's victims coming back to help a current uh, a current victim, and uh, and how they can team together to try and overcome this this evil, or this this man that has uh, hurt them in many ways and, and killed them. Uh, so I, I really really enjoyed the the idea the concept. I thought that some of the writing, some of the plot um, was a little predictable. I'm not going to lie. But the scares were there. I thought the performances were very strong, specifically Ethan Hawke as our um, murderer, the grabber. Um, and then I loved the relationship between the two, the brother and sister. We had Mason Tames, Tames? I'm sorry if I mispronounced that. Let me know, and I'll correct that in future talking about this film. But we had Mason Tames playing Finney, and we had Madeline McGraw playing Gwen. I loved the relationship that they had. I loved the connection, the chemistry that they had. They played off of each other very nicely. Um, I'm curious. I, I would be curious to know to ask um, – the director or the writers of this film, um, Scott Derrickson, was the director and the writer of the screenplay, uh, Scott Derrickson as well, or or Joe Hill, who wrote the original short story that it's based off of, kind of what the um, thought process was in putting all of this trauma on Finney and Gwen specifically. Um, some of it was a little difficult to watch, especially the abuse that they withstood or they, or they, not, or they were put, put into by their father. Um, the bullying that Finney was having to deal with. I love the scene where Gwen takes up for him. I also loved that their friend that, uh, uh, da, 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 da. The, the the friend also helped in the scene in the bathroom as well. I I just I'm curious if it felt at times it felt a little too much for me. Um, like I said, it was kind of difficult to watch at times. But once we got into the real meat of the story with the grabber and him getting these phone calls, I really enjoyed the rest of it. Even though some of it was predictable, I did like that each one of them had a lesson or a a part to play in the final third act of the film. I thought that was really smart and really interesting. I, yeah, so I, I thought it was really great. I don't know that I'm as crazy about it as some of those in my timeline are, but um, I, I did really enjoy the movie, and I think that there is a, definitely an audience for it. I think it's been very well received, and rightfully so, by many people. Um but yeah, as for me, it is a yay for me, uh, as you could probably guess, even though, you know, as Sheree and I say, it's not a perfect movie. There is no such thing. But it's a, it's, a, it's an enjoyable, good time with a really interesting concept. And I love the relationship between the siblings. I thought that was really interesting. I'm also curious about the end with the father. I, I don't want to give anything away, but um, I, I wasn't sure how to take that. Um, so 
those of you that have watched it, please comment, DM me, DM the, the podcast, because Sheree has watched it as well. So we both know what, <laughs> what is happening here. Um, so, yeah, let us know what you thought. If, if you want to talk about the end with me, with the dad, let me know, because I'm, I'm here to discuss that, because I was very, like, on the fence with that. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm curious to know, do you all agree with me? Do you not agree with me? Let me know. Let us know. We love comments. We love to hear from you all. Uh, on the Fear Street, our neighbors on Fear Street, as you as we say sometimes. <laughs> a huge thank you to Universal Pictures Home Entertainment for making this review possible. Thank you to everyone that worked on this film, whether you're the director, the writer, the actors, the set crew, the the assistants, everyone that, that put their heart and soul into this film. I enjoyed watching your work. Thank you, and I hope to see more in the future. So... Yeah, again, let us know in the comments. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Let us know. And without further ado, as always, make sure you stay fierce out there.